In this video, we'll, we will be going over the FlexFit LCD keypad controls, as well as looking into the different menus and submenus. The first thing that you will see on your LCD keypad is the home screen. Here the home screen is set up for showing your boiler outlet, whether this is your pressure or temperature. Below that, you will see the set point for that boiler outlet, and this is adjustable. You can do that by pressing enter, then adjusting as needed. Below that, it will show your firing rate percentage and whether you are in auto or manual. And below that, it will give you any messages on your burner management state that you're currently in. Right now, it is not running, so it's saying start limits are open. If you look at the keypad, you will see eight keys on top and then 10 below that. The eight on top are the back and next buttons, and these will cycle through your different home screens. Next to that is reset and alarm silence. If you get an alarm, you press the alarm silence to silence the alarm. And the reset button will reset any lockouts that have occurred. The up and down arrows and the escape and enter button will be seen when we explore the menus. You can cycle through to the next screen. This shows just your outputs to your servos, as well as still shows your firing rate output. And Next shows a history of alarms and events. And the next one shows you which fuel is requested. Right now we have it set up for only one fuel. And the last screen shows your current flame signal, which fuel is selected, shows that you're in standby with all of your start limits open. If you were to change your home screen, you would press the home button, which is back and next together, and hold it until the screen flashes. And now that is your home screen. So you could leave, press home, and it will go back to what you selected. And we can put it back on what we had before. And that's our home screen. Okay. These five pairs of up, up and down arrows are going to be associated with the outputs, uh, whether it be your servos or VSD. And when you have those outputs in manual, you can manually control with the up and down arrows. These four buttons, the blue up and down arrows and the escape and enter button, these correspond to your menus. So if you press the up and down arrow together, we are now in your menus and submenus. And you can use the arrows to navigate through your menus. And you can go back up. And then you can use escape and enter to jump in and out of those menus. So if you want to go and lock out data, press enter. If you want to leave, you can escape. The different menus that you can access are lock out data where you can see 140 different data points from your last 10 lockouts. Your password menu, for you, where you would enter whether operator, technician, or engineer passwords, which will allow more or less access into the menus and to set up. Next submenu is your setup. And this is where you will input different application and uh, setup parameters. Below that is curve commissioning, and this is where you would go to enter your firing rate data and set up your firing curves. Below that is tuning, and inside the tuning menus is where you would put in your PID tuning, and if you enter there, it divides it up into your different PID tuning loops. Below that is more additional optional features, such as your 24-hour recycle, local remote mode, etc. And below that is even more advanced settings. And for a complete list of your uh, optional features and advanced settings, you can reference your manual with a complete description of every setting. Below that is utilities, where you can access your date, time, and serial number, as well as a complete I.O. display for all of your inputs and outputs. 
and you can also get to your oxygen calibration from the utilities menu. So this completes the overview of the LCD keypad and the menus for the FlexFit. If you would like more information on how to set up the FlexFit, please feel free to contact Preferred Utilities about training options.